What is up guys, SkyFPV here and today I'm going to show you how to replace a motor in a little bit different of a way. So as many of you know I just participated in the Mayhem Dawn Till Dusk race and uh, being able to switch components really quickly was the only reason I got to fly as much as I did and the only reason I was prepared and ready for uh, going up when my team needed me. Um, and so I wanted to share how I was able to do that, or one of the tricks that I used. Uh, so, I'm going to be showing you these motor plugs, and actually, this is probably the better example. So these are the motor plugs that I've been using. Uh, as you can see, they kind of take a little bit of force to pull off, so there's really no worry about them just like popping off magically on their own or during a crash. Uh, the only time they do unplug is when you break your arm and you're putting a lot of force, like complete arm separation, then they will unplug. And it's great because then it saves your motor from having wires pulled out of it. Uh, also prevents a lot of strain on the ESC. So you're not just like pulling the ESC out of the stack. So yeah, we're going to do a motor swap. I'm going to talk a little bit about these while I do that because it's incredibly quick to do this. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, so this is an idea that I did not come up with. Uh, this is an idea that I stole from Christian and his father, Christian von Sloan. Many of you know him as Amari. He won the, uh, I think he got sixth place at the DRL Sim Tournament. He got first place at the uh, Midwest regional qualifier, or regional final, sorry. And this guy actually has two sets of tape. And actually, I can kind of just ignore this tape and I can just kind of unplug it. Just like that. And that's what would happen in a crash. Um, we can just pop this back on. So yeah, this, uh, for reference, for the Mayhem race, it was a 12 hour long team race, and keeping quads working for 12 hours long is really difficult. Um, and this trick helped me a ton because at that race especially, the ground was just brutal to motors. Uh, whenever you crashed, you got basically swamp in your motors, and it wasn't really safe to run them again. You really risked um, burning out a motor with that much material inside of there. And so, basically whenever I crashed, I didn't want to deal with it, so I just put on a new motor, since I had all of my spare motors wired up like this already, and it was really easy to pull motors off of quads also. I didn't have to heat up a soldering iron, I didn't have to strip wires, um, didn't have to do any of that, it just removed one step from that process of swapping motors, and it's literally just screw it in, and maybe tape it down if you're feeling especially ambitious. So, like that, that's a that's a swapped motor, just like that. And uh, I haven't taped these guys, so I guess I'll tape it also. Wish I had some nicer tape, but this'll do. So yeah, I ended up swapping 10 motors, roughly, um, at this race. And it was never a big deal to swap motors. And there were a lot of things that I was significantly more worried about as far as repairs go. Um, so like breaking VTXs and stuff like that, but motor swaps was not a big deal, and it was really awesome because uh, it would have been a big deal if I had not been as prepared as I was. Um, and to be honest, I don't think anyone was prepared for that race per se. I was definitely not as prepared as I wish I was, but that's kind of how a race like that goes. So anyway, uh, just wanted to share this. I thought it was a really cool idea. I stole it, and now I'm sharing it with the rest of the world. Uh, for those of you wondering about weight, uh, these plugs are not nearly as big as they look. Many people think that they're a lot bigger than they are because they're thinking of XT60s. These are not anywhere close to the same size as an XT60. These are very small, they're very light. Uh, your build will weigh an additional two grams after adding these plugs to all four motors. So if you're worried about two grams, like if two grams is gonna bust your build and make it unflyable, then don't put these on. If you can spare two grams, I think they're great. I really love them. 
Um, haven't had them unplug randomly except in crashes. Haven't had any like, I, I haven't needed to like spread pins the way I do on an XT60. They seem to work better in that regard. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick and uh, I hope you get some value out of it. I hope you like it. If you don't, no big deal. Uh, but either way, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.